What up, morning guys? Welcome to today's video. Today is Friday. We have plans because yesterday I told you guys was my granddaughter's birthday, so we're gonna see her today. I'm super excited. The kids have gone down to feed lunch. It's already lunchtime. I've been doing more spring cleaning today. I got this whole section over here cleaned up. I put all of our school books over here. These are our school. This is what we do for school each day. Because I cleaned up our school area, I was able to clean off this little thing. And then I was able to move our chickens over here. I want to show you guys we got new chickens. I think the last time I showed you, we had three chickens and now we have five. I'll show you my favorite, which is a new one. So this is my favorite. She is so adorable. She's so sweet. She's so cute, you guys. I love her. So she's this gray color. I think she's like, um, I forget. I have it written down. And she came out of a blue egg. And she's adorable. So she came out of a blue egg. She must be like an Easter egg or cross. But I think she's like, a, I forget the name. A list of the roosters and the chickens that these eggs came from. So I think she has to be like a cross, an Easter egg -er Because she came out of a blue egg. But oh my gosh. She is so freaking adorable. This was the first one to hatch. It's a rooster. And it's Sophie's favorite. If he was here, I'd show you how I can tell if it's a rooster or a hen. It's the one way that works on all chickens, and I learned it, and it's so much better knowing it. For the most part, you can almost always tell if they're hens or roosters from birth. Anyway, this is Sophie's favorite. It's a, roo it's a rooster, I think. And then I think this is another of the new ones. <laughs> they're so cute. Normally, I don't like black chickens, but I like these ones. They're super cute. Over here in chicken land, uh, none of the other eggs are pipped. That's a lot of eggs. That's three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eggs, and none of them are pip. If you don't know what pipping means, it means like uh, starting to hatch, and none of them have started to hatch at all yet. Hopefully, they'll be okay, and hopefully, they will hatch. I've read that when you collect a lot of eggs and they're cold for a little bit before you hatch them, it sometimes can take them a few days uh, to to a few more days to hatch. So typically they all hatch at the same time when you put them all in there at the same time, but these ones are not hatching. Like that's a lot of chicken. And in Molly news, good girl, she loves the puppy now. All right, she doesn't love the puppy. <laughs> she, she just ran away. She's like, I need more food. I need more lunch. <laughs> she doesn't love the puppy. She doesn't love the puppy, but she's doing a lot better with the puppy. Like, so much better with... Oh, see, see, see. Good girl, Molly. Good girl. She still wants to run away. She still wants to run away from you. But last night and today, a true miracle happened, and they were actually playing with each other. And that's what's really cool about Ellie, is that she... <laughs> she, she has, like, a puppet mouth. She... Uh, won't stop. She wouldn't stop bothering Molly until Molly finally said, okay, fine, we can be friends. So lucky for us, everybody's like working towards being friends now. So I told you guys that I want to be the one to groom Ellie because I want her to be a specific look, a very specific look. It's not one that like most, most groomers would do for a Yorkie. So I'm trying to like start getting her used to the scissors and to the, to the clippers now. Oh man, she is a nightmare. <laughs> She does not like him. I'm trying to use positive reinforcement to encourage her to be better about it. She is motivated by her belly. She's having some lunch. So I tried doing a little bit of trimming today. I know exactly how her legs have to go. See that back leg doesn't look that cute. But she was squirming a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to get one of those tables, a grooming table, so that I can keep her calm and keep her still. Get out of her bed. Get out of her bed, Miss Miss Daisy. Sit. Hey, look. Look, Daisy. Daisy, sit. Sit. <laughs> I'm telling Daisy to sit. And she's like, I will sit. Sit. Daisy. Sit. Good girl. I don't have any treats for you, though. Don't have any treats. But you're such a good girl. <laughs> and here they all come. I'm not going to lie. I love the vibe of all of our dogs. So we have, like... Two light colored dogs and then we have two dark colored dogs and they all just kind of look good together. I'm really excited about the idea of getting a picture of all of them together. I think that would be so cool. Like that is my future plans. And also took pictures of our horses yesterday. They turned out terrible. They were so awful and editing them. I don't have my editing program anymore. I used to like be huge into pictures, but then once we started vlogging, I didn't have time for pictures. But last night, Sam got me a new editing program and I'm super excited to get into that. So my future favorite picture. So my future plan for pictures is that one day I want to have a picture of all four of our dogs sitting together, just sitting 
with a white background and then I can do whatever I want with it. But I think that'd be really cute. And I think all of their colors are really cute. <sighs> Get off the couch. I just washed that window. Come on, down. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, see, that's why. Stay, stay, come, come, come. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, this is the problem. Either we have all the horses not letting us do what we want, or we have all the dogs not letting us do what we want. <laughs> Everybody wanna sing, sing, sing. You're a winner when you sing, sing, sing. I've got a song, you hum along. And we have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song. I thought that was a computer. That huge screen. I thought it was a computer screen. Actually, there was a computer screen on there. It was a picture of a computer screen. I thought it was a giant computer. I love giant things, you guys. Is this the one that I have? Mm, I don't know. It might be. I think it might be. So we are at Costco. Getting Costco stuff. Galaxy Tab. I want, there's a new case for my phone and I you want it. I have a Galaxy Tab. But this is 700 bucks, that's a cheap price. Yeah, this is a 7EFE, mine is a giant one. Ever since we started making butter, Sam and I are really into these mixers now. We both really want one. They have red, I love red. Would you get red or silver? You should get one, silver. Silver. That's 90 bucks. Cheaper. It's a great one. The silver one. Silver. Wait, okay. We've never ever had a kitchen aid. I love red though. Red's like my favorite color, but I don't I don't want a red one. Wow, it's fancy. Okay, so we got a mixer. Got an actual mixer. I have never wanted a mixer in my whole entire life because I don't like cooking. I don't love cooking. I'm an active person. I have to be busy all the time. I can't just be like stuck in one room doing one thing and making food. It's not my favorite thing. But we can make pancakes. I do cook and I do make some things. Some things are my specialties. But I am so super excited about getting a mixer. I have always wanted one just because they look cool. But I love being able to like throw all your stuff in there. Like I make chocolate chip cookies and I make the best chocolate chip cookies. I hardly ever make them. But now that I have a mixer, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make pancakes. Sophie's gonna make pancakes. I'm gonna make a spicy butter. A spicy butter. I also got these Rain Coast Crisps. Have you guys heard of them? They're crackers. You put cheese on them and they're just different flavors. You don't get a lot in a box. Me and I tried them. I love them. We tried the cranberry hazelnut ones. We are at Toys R Us Brooklyn Walkout. <laughs> it is Brooklyn's birthday and we're going to go and get her a present. All right, let's go. What are you going to get? I don't know. All right, let's go. What do you want? I don't know. Do we need a cart? Yeah, so let's no. get a cart. Okay, just run up behind her and knock her in the back of the knees and she'll fall in. <laughs> Just joking, don't do that, don't do that. So for anybody who doesn't know, Brooklyn is my granddaughter and she's my first grandchild at all, of all, of all of them. You look like Wednesday. Thank you. Mom, I found something for your dog. Yeah, my dog would love that bunny. Look at this little setup here, isn't that adorable? A little area for little kids to come and sit down and look at books. That's a nice book. I hate how they play music in this store. All right, we're looking for Lego, right? Brooklyn is into a Playmobil, and look at it's 25% off all Playmobil City Life and City Action sets. All right, so Brooklyn's gonna look here and see if she can find anything. Look, it's all boy stuff. It's all boys. There we go. Here's some girlier ones. All right, let's let Brooklyn look. She gets a lot of, she has a lot of Lego, but she's really into Playmobil this year. All right, so she chose, she chose this Playmobil, which is like a playground. What's it called? Uh, it just says Playmobil City Life, so it's a playground. And then she chose this family fun minivan. I think I want the small one anyways, because if I got this one, um, I feel like the babies will trash it. They're like in two seconds. Sin so she said she likes these these smaller sets. This smaller set is more expensive than that big, huge set, though. So we're trying yes. to figure that out. Like, why is this one so this cheap? This one's 80 
eighty dollars, and that one is ninety-five dollars. Yeah, like fifteen dollars more for a smaller, smaller one. Yeah, that's so weird. Oh my gosh, I love these. You make your own sticker, Sophie. This is right down your aisle. This is so cool. It's only thirty-five bucks, and then you buy the sticker maker cartridge refill. And you make your own. Okay, that is cool. Honestly, that's so cool. Excuse me, sir. That's only for children. Huh. Huh. Hi, I asked my mom if I could stay up later um, now, but she said no. Now that you're older, you have to negotiate a later bedtime. I don't know. Though. I'll teach you how to negotiate when we go for dinner, okay? okay I'm really good at it. I'll do that too. No, you do not get a later time. I just want to see if they have manga here. Or however you say it, because Gabby loves that stuff. And we can never find the books that she wants. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we are going to go for dinner. So every year on our grandkids' birthdays, oh, we do stuff just with them. So even though I miss Jacob and I wish he was here, we go, we go just with them. We took Jacob on his birthday and... We let him pick out what he wanted for his birthday, and then we also went for dinner. So we are going someplace so fun for her birthday. My hair's staticky. It's my yeah, my, I hate balloons. Maker. My hair is staticky too. You hate balloons to make your hair staticky? Head west toward. Well, I don't know. Something in that store made my hair staticky. All right, we found some koi fish. Should we get koi fish? No. Imagine you had this in your backyard. It'd be so pretty. What's your favorite one? Um, I like that one. It's the one that's all orange. Oh, look, he's got, his, going right under look he's got his face up. I like the one with the orange all over his back over there. Oh, actually, I like the spotted one. Yeah, I like the one with the orange all over his back. And then with oh, the look, there's up. an orange and black one. Which one do you like, Abby? That one looks like cheese. The orange one here. Yeah, it does look like cheese. But look at they see us here. They're like, feed me, feed me. Whoa, look at this food. That's amazing. Whoa. What is that? Cauliflower with cheese. All right, we're in room B. We're going into our own little room here. Beautiful trees. Thank you. Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want, birthday girl. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. So you want a fancy drink? So these drinks are all alcoholic. I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Brooklyn's like, oh, I knew it was too good to be true. There's some non-alcoholic ones in the book. Yeah. Shirley Temple. Yeah. Shirley Temple. What about for here? I want that one too. Yeah. Um, Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. I these two are the most favorite too. <laughs> Those are the most favorite too? Yeah. What about for here? Anyone? I'll just have a Coke. I'll okay. just have a water, please. No problem. So just want to make sure only one of them under 12 years old and you're all one bill. Yes. We're all one bill and she's the only one under 10 years old. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back with the drinks. You can go to the buffet whenever you're ready. Thank you. All right, let's go. I already saw all the things that I want. We're going to take you guys with us so that we can I'm show you. You went for the you went for the Chinese. I went for the sh the crab Is salad. That yeah, that's that. I got a dumpling. They have a sushi bar. They have a pizza bar. They have like there's I didn't even get to show whoa I didn't even get to show everybody what they have but look at here come your fancy drinks. Working on the cookie monster, I'll be right back. Still Thank working you. on the cookie monster, but yeah. that Thank is you your... for not having uh, uh, cardboard straws. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> look at good cherry. It looks so good. Oh sushi. Sam hit the sushi bar. <laughs> I knew you would. What kind of sushi did they have? Anything good? I don't know. Do they have vegetarian sushi? I think they're all vegetarian. No, they have no, fish. No, none, none with like fish. I don't like fish. All right, that's Gabby's cookie monster drink. It looks like um, Oreo milkshake. It's so small because it's because um, people, most child want it. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> she burned you, Gabby. <laughs> So the girls got a new drink. It's a mango slushy, mango freeze. Was it good? Yeah. So good. 
Gabby said she's gonna die. She hasn't had dessert yet. All right, so now we're gonna go up and I'm gonna get dessert. I'm gonna get dessert. She's getting pizza and dessert. This is the dessert bar. It's got all this jello, mango, pineapple. So this is the fruit section. Then it's got all this golden waffles and then all the toppings for waffles. All this. An entire ice cream bar. So you get the ice cream that you want and then you can like make sundaes. It's got chocolate sauce and butterscotch sauce and more stuff. And then over here is like the whole cake section. They have chocolate strawberries. So what would you choose? Cream caramel, chocolate fudge cake, cherry cheesecake, that's what I'm getting. The pizza smells really good. Caved. You caved? <laughs> I can only eat one plate full of food here. But look at the plates. They have ice They're cream. They're super tiny. Yeah, they have a whole ice cream bar. You can make a sundae. I've seen at the ice cream bar before. <laughs> oh, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn's frozen yogurt exploded on her. No, so I turned it on, it exploded, and then I put more on it. <laughs> this is what I decided for dessert. It's frozen yogurt. Here's a little birthday cake for you. A little you. birthday cake for you. you Thank are. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brooklyn. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Do you want to take a picture together? I have a little camera. Not as good as this one. But sure. Print it out. That's a little good for you. Sure. That'd be great. Brooklyn just got a birthday cupcake, but look at on the plate they wrote happy birthday in in what did they write it in? In chocolate sauce. I know <laughs> this is too much food. I know we are so full. Sam and Gabby just went for dessert. I got a strawberry. So I got frozen yogurt and I put strawberry on one side. I put vanilla sauce on one side and I put peaches on one side so I can see what I like best. So this is what they gave her and it was for free. It says celebrate and it's a birthday picture of all of us together. Isn't that adorable? I have one of these on my fridge with all my boys and all my girls and all, everybody in my family. Okay, fortune cookie time. Be prepared for the truth. Thank wow, you. Brooklyn, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're beautiful. The truth, I told Brooklyn how to ask her mom how to stay up extra late on Saturday, Friday and Saturday nights. So she's gonna go and she's gonna tell her that she, we made a whole plan for her to tell her. So be prepared for the truth. Sophie got, be content with your lot. One cannot be first in everything. I never win. <laughs> I never win anything, she said. All right, what'd you get, Gabby? French. French. <laughs> Did I get the good one? <laughs> the first time we went, like, uh, something yeah. wonderful is about to happen to you. I got the good one. Your birthday. Yeah, her birthday is about to happen, and we're going on vacation. Well, not vacation, but we're going someplace special for her. You are strong and awesome. What does it really say? <laughs> you are strongly tuned into those around you. <laughs> you guys get the, you guys get the, the basic ones where it's like... <laughs> Brooklyn's traumatized by her fortune. <laughs> Here's mine. Channel your energy into something positive. Yeah, Gabby's the only one that got... Gabby's... I'm so sad. <laughs> Gabby... Be prepared for the truth. Oh. <laughs> now she's traumatized. The truth is your you're secretly rich. All right, let's go. I'm only a princess. I'm an actual princess. She's an actual princess? Oh. You're really 11. You're actually 11. You're actually 11. That's the truth. Because you're so short. You're actually 11, but they kept you back a year. You are really short. She is. And you didn't realize. I got my mom's height. Yeah. We never made it to the ice cream bar. We never made it to the sushi bar. We never made it to the bread bar. We never made it to the soup. We never made it to the soup bar. But we are on our way out and we are gonna hit the cotton candy bar. Take one for Jacob. I did. Oh sorry. Alright, well we go. That's fine. Alright, let's go. 
What are the straws for? Oh, all right. Um, all right, so we got cotton candy. Cotton candy. gonna eat again. Happy birthday Brooklyn. We love you. Hockey is almost over. They've been not able to come to our house for a couple of months because they've been doing hockey on weekends but hockey is over after this weekend so we'll be back to sleepover. Coming soon guys. Never be seen, never seen before. The challenges that we're gonna do this summer when Brooklyn is 10 are gonna be superior to any challenge that we've done before huh? Are you up for some more challenges? Yes. All right. Happy sleep in the, sleep, we can sleep in the woods. All right, no. I'd do it. No. I'd do it. I think no. that's fun. There's coyotes out there. All right. Well, anyways, happy birthday, Brooklyn. Thank you so much for watching. Don't you know that you